Welcome to the first episode of Minecraft Mod Showcases where I find a mod that you might enjoy and showcase it in a video. Ever since I started making super flat survival videos, I would get tons of comments of people asking, how do you make time lapses? Or, how do you record yourself in third person? And even though the answer has always been in the description box, I thought it would be a great way to start off the possible new series. So which mod are we looking at today? You guessed it, Camera Studios mod. What this mod allows you to do is get really smooth cinematic shots that would be difficult or nearly impossible without it. Or make awesome time lapse shots if you building or just admiring the scenery. So let's see how it works. Once you successfully install the mod, you'll be greeted with this message in your chat letting you know that it's ready to use and the button to see or change the settings. Let's go into our Camera Studios mod and check everything out. Here we can see all the different options to make the shot we need. Global options to set the options key and language, cam command options to set the camera options and commands needed, as well as message output settings, cam third person options to well, make your shot in third person and how much you want it to be sped up, video record options to set the record shortcut, the frames per second, video speed and codec of the video file, and lastly the audio record options which is, well, for the audio of course. Let's start by making a cinematic shot to show off the landscape. To do that, we want our third person settings turned off. Once we do that, let's exit out and set our camera traveling path. To do this, simply press P in the spot you want your camera to start and face the direction you want your camera to look at. Then, move a little in any direction and press P again. This creates a path from point A to point B for your camera to move on. As you can see in the chat, my positions are being recorded and auto-splined. Auto-spline is what gives it that smooth movement from one point to the next. Turning it off will make jagged aggressive motions, but for this shot we want nice smooth transitions between points. Since we have two camera positions, we can stop there or we can keep going to make a longer path, which is what I'm going to do. Which means you just gotta keep pressing P to create points for your camera to go through. And once done, open the chat and type in the command slash cam start, then how long you want the shot to last. I want it to be 20 seconds, so all I gotta do is type in 20s after start. Now our command should look like slash cam start 20s. Press enter and we will begin traveling the course of our camera position points. If you want to record this, you can use the record option in the mod or use any screen recording software that you'd use to make a Let's Play series. Do all that and we should have a clean looking cinematic shot to impress your viewers and use in your videos. But what if you're not in creative or can't fly? Well if your position points were in the air, your character will do its best to get up there but sadly fail at it. Unless you use a third person option which isn't affected by gravity or object collision. So now let's make our third person time lapse example. First let's go into our settings, go to cam third person settings and turn the camera third person option to on. We need to see what we're doing so we need to turn the player view on. Then turn indirect video on so it'll record the video. Then set our video speed. This will determine how sped up the video is compared in real time. If we set it to 2 times, it'll record double the speed of real time. Setting it to 20 will make it 20 times faster than real time. Obviously, the lower you set the video speed, the more RAM it'll eat up. So if you don't have the fastest computer, try not to go below 10. For ours, we're going to keep ours at 20. Next is the Show Cameraman Frustum, which basically just shows the area that is being recorded. Fixed chunk unloading keeps the chunk you are building in and the area your camera is traveling loaded. If you aren't going far away from the camera, the camera isn't going far away from you, then this doesn't need to be turned on because it creates a lot of lag. Click done, then all we have to do is set our camera positions. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we delete the old camera positions because if we start making new positions, it'll keep adding it onto the old set, which will result in us starting from where we made our first position and ending up all the way here to where we made our last. To delete them, simply type in the command slash cam p clear. Then start making new points for our camera to move through. Let's get a shot of us tearing down this tree and building something. Once we do that, simply type in the same command as last time, except we need to make our recording time longer. This is because it's recording 20 times faster, which means the video when finished would be only one second. So let's change it to five minutes by typing in slash cam start 5m. As you can see, we can see our cameraman recording as well as the area it's recording. So I'm gonna take down this tree and build something and be right back. And this is what we built in the time it was recording, it's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And this is what the recording looks like. And that's basically it, so just to answer a couple of questions, yes, this works on servers, no, people cannot see your cameraman, and yes, there is a download link in the description. If you have any questions about this mod, please do not ask me. You can either find the answer on the mod download page, ask the creator, or... So do one of those three things if you have a question and I guarantee you'll get an answer a lot faster than leaving it in the comments. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful or entertaining and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you think I should make more mod showcases and what mod I should showcase next. But before I go, Friday, March 1st at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be releasing the beta version of my server and doing a live stream of it. So if you want to play with me and some friends on my server or just watch a live stream, check out the description for more info and like my Facebook fan page to get more details. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you later. When you need to know something that you don't already know, don't ask me for the answer, just go and Google that shit, yo.
Yo, Google that shit, Google that shit. Don't ask me, bitch, just Google that shit. Google that shit, Google that shit. Don't ask me, bitch, just Google that shit. Blah, 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 blah. Your straightest questions answered in seconds. All you do is click return. And if you're a bit stucky, just try on feeling lucky. There's all 